Hello, everyone, and as always, welcome back to Sup Talk Radio. Appreciate your time and appreciate you taking time to download this upcoming episode. I'm excited. I'm actually using the products myself, and I've been dialoguing with the owner for quite some time now. We've kind of had some uh, back and forth. We're busy. He's busy. But long story short, I'm excited to finally have uh, John Applewhite of Ugly Muscle Nutrition on the phone. John, welcome. Thank you, Sean. Pleasure finally to uh, to talk to you. Yeah, we keep going back and forth. I don't know how many times. <laughs> yeah, I know it's, 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 it's definitely been a while, but uh, glad we are finally doing this. John, give me give us a little bit of background on you personally, and then we'll kind of dive into the company if that's okay. Sure. So a little bit about myself. Let me just like I mentioned, I am the chief operating officer and uh, formalist for both products for Ugly Muscle Nutrition. I myself, I have a uh, bachelor's in nutritional science. I previously had used to work with a um, sports nutrition company as a marketing rep and had some prior experience with uh, working in sales along the sports nutrition industry. So roughly about uh, 10 years total, 10, 12 years in being in the field. Um, essentially everything with ugly muscle nutrition started with my partner, Malcolm Blackman, 84, which people can follow him on Instagram. We had... Um, it started with the company thought about maybe about three, four years ago. It was in the making. We had went to the Arnold Classic earlier of last year. Uh, so we walked to the expo, noticed a few different products and everything. And um, he noticed a few things with the products of kind of being like underdosed. So basically what I did, I went back, <clears throat> went back home, brainstormed, um, and basically made a formula for our pre-workout, which is Hidia Sensation and our thermogenic called Chamber of Hades. So both products are, to those who don't know, both products are more aligned for nootropic support and energy. And what's something that's very nice and different is that both products can be, be stacked together. So mm -hmm. for people who may want to increase their metabolism, increase a little more focus support, uh, what we basically call it the brown paper bag effect. That's our motto. Uh, with that, we want to give people uh, an enhanced experience of focus, uh, euphoria, um, and smooth on lasting energy throughout the workouts. So, John, where did Ugly Muscle Nutrition come from? Because I know that was a question that came up a few times for people that knew you were coming on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my, actually my, my partner, uh, Malcolm Blackman, actually had came up with the name, Ugly Muscle Nutrition. Um, so during the time, it was always kind of hard because he was always traveling to Brazil and I was here in the U.S. and, and whatnot. And um, he had mentioned something about uh, he used to have a like a little avatar and it was a little character which with a paper bag over his head. OK. And throughout, and throughout the years, we had kind of thought, you know, this is kind of OK, it's kind of neat. You know, it's this you, you have that concept. So how about, you know, we, we take that concept that you have from that avatar, and we, we name it Ugly Muscle, Ugly Muscle Nutrition. So that's how we, we came up with that. So was that, the first, was that the first name that you came up with right on the spot, or were there a lot that's, of reiterations? No, that was actually the first name. That was actually the first name of, of, of it, uh, what we came up with, Ugly Muscle. Interesting. And, and who actually designed the, I guess, the logo? Obviously, a little muscle man with a bag on his head. <laughs> yeah, so that is uh, a young lady named Viola. Uh, she does a lot of graphic design, um, and she essentially resides out in Baltimore. And she does a, an awesome job in, in regards to the, the character, the design uh, that we came came up with. We had a few different concepts actually, um, with with getting the character right. I mean, we had at least 20, 25 different concepts of the drawing. Okay. Um, and of course, with the uh, the labeling and the, the wording and everything, so. There were a few different things, but she does a, does a great job. Did a great job for us. So what, when did you guys officially launch either both or, or the first product? So we first uh, officially launched our uh, of 2019 in July. Okay. Um, prior, prior to that, you know, of, of course, you know, when you're going through the process of starting your own company, you know, you, you want to essentially make sure everything, you have all your, your P's and Q's straightened out in regards to, you know, product, um, ingredients, the ingredient profile, breaking down uh, that ingredient profile for consumers as well also who may be unaware of what they're, they're taking and 
for me, that's that's the main thing when um, having have been in this industry for X amount of time, I'm, you know, just like anyone else, I've taken an array of different pre-workouts throughout my years of mm-hmm. uh, working out and, and going to the gym. Um, and, you know, to, to get people, to make them know, to, to make them essentially know that, hey, you're going to take something, but kind of break it down for consumers is that um, health comes first, first and foremost. So um, we're making these products, essentially we want to make something that um, that's healthy, that's that's different, but yet set a line that it's something essentially that's going to benefit the user as well also. Gotcha, gotcha. John, one, one thing I do have to give you lots of credit for, and, and I love the fact, first and foremost, that you are a fully transparent labeled company with the both products. I, I respect the hell out of you for that. Um, why not go prop? Aren't you afraid that someone might steal your, your formulas? Um, well, for one, not, that's not, not so much in regards to that. Um, basically, have, have, have always essentially wanted to go transparent, as I just kind of previously mentioned. You know, I want consumers to know that, hey, if you're taking our product, we want you guys to know what you're actually getting in that dosage in that product itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, not essentially containing a prop blend where you have, let's say, you know, 200 milligrams of caffeine and, I don't know, 150 milligrams of your Hemby or whatever. Um, and that's where, I, you know, essentially I mentioned is that you don't want consumers to to take something that cause they can cause some sort of adverse side effect for them, being either it, being either the fact they may have hypertension, heart disease, uh, cardiovascular issues, mm-hmm. diabetes, anything like that. So um, labeling uh, a transparent label and having a transparent label to me is, is very important by, by far none. Um, so because that makes those consumers know that, okay, well, I have this and this in here. I, ha- I know the correct dosage that I'm taking and they're good to go. So we're, basically we're really focused on not not essentially having something that's overly caffeinated. Um, I think I mentioned to you a little bit earlier that my big thing is that when I would take pre-workouts, I always like enjoy pre-workouts and products that essentially give me a lot of focus support. Yes. So mainly with the main thing with designing hideous sensation, the main key element uh, behind it is to improve the blood brain barrier for, for people, for consumers. And basically with that, we're, we're increasing oxygen, we're increasing blood flow to, throughout the brain, uh, we're increasing the focus support for consumers. And the good thing about the pre-workout and even the thermogenic, I'll get more into that a little bit later on, it can be used, it's very versatile. So I don't want people to essentially think that, well, it's just a pre-workout. Um, no, it can be used in, in all sorts of other ways. People who are avid video gamers, we have a, a young guy actually who has a Twitch account and he actually had taken Hidden Sensation, our uh, pre-workout formula, and he was actually up for literally 24 hours. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but the main key behind that is that being versatile for video gamers, college students, um, people who want to go to the gym and work out, people do, who don't essentially have to worry about um, taking a pre-workout that's overly stimulated with excess stems and high counts of caffeine. Uh, what we're bringing to our consumers is something that is innovative and different, um, but yet at the same time, giving consumers levels of increased focus and tunnel vision support that they probably have by far have never seen it in, in their life pretty much when taking other pre-workouts so john is it is it safe to say that that obviously hideous sensation is more of a uh lighter stim focus with maybe pump being secondary true yes um more of an energy nootropic pre-workout formula um as you hit the nail on, on the head right there re- in regards to that um now if people essentially are looking for more of a pump based formula um we do have another product that we're set to release uh, sometime essentially next month. Uh, and it can be stacked with either, uh, they can be stacked with Hades Sensation or it can be stacked with the Chamber of Hades Thermogenic Formula as well. Gotcha. And and I, let, let's talk a little bit about some of the ingredients here because obviously I, I'm using this myself and I, mm-hmm. I appreciate the, 
you know, obviously sending this to me to try. Um, one thing that I don't see in here, which is very interesting, is you don't use beta alanine. And I don't know if that it's not really a detriment, but I know every seems like every pre workout has beta alanine in it nowadays. Yeah, so that was that was one thing we said we we kind of tossed on there and thought about is, is with the beta alanine. Uh, definitely had wanted to put it in there um, at first, and then it, it essentially I thought, well, you know, you have a lot of people out here who don't want beta alanine. Some people mm -hmm. don't want the the effects of the tingles and whatnot, so. I had to kind of substitute it for a little bit of uh, a coconut extract or coconut water extract in there instead um, for that for people. Um, we are actually working on a version V2 of the Hidden Sensation, uh, just to let people know. Um, so Excellent. That, yeah, so that would be more of a, you know, you, you live and you learn. So there would be essentially more of a um, complete I say more of an advanced, complete version of of that of that version set than the first one that we have. Um, this new product that we have coming out is really going to be really amazing. Um, it's more, as I mentioned, it's more of a pump-based formula. It's going to be a pump, nootropic-based, and rehydration formula all in one. Um, so for those people who want to increase their vasodilation. Uh, increase their focus. Um, the great thing is that it can be stacked with that first version of the heat of sensation as well. Interesting. So something else too that I noticed on the on the formula, which I like, is obviously using a lot of popular, uh, well dosed ingredients. But there's something on here that I'm probably not going to say right called vinpositine or vinpositine. Vinpositine, yes, or a prairie winkle extract. Sure, and I've sure. never seen that before. Obviously, did some research on it, but maybe let people know exactly what that is, because again, I, I haven't seen it yet, to my knowledge. Yes, uh, vinpositine. Um, vinpositine is a form of a, of a nootropic, um, and basically, was it's really essentially really used for uh, increasing the blood-brain barrier support. Um, in, in regards to that. Um, it was also a really key ingredient to help out people who with ischemic strokes. So as it increases, yeah. So as it increases blood flow in the brain, um, the the benefits of it um, are, are really great um, because you know you're getting blood flow in the brain. You're also getting enhanced um, focus support and focus properties provided in there as well. Um, and I, I'm. Surprised that actually not more more people have have kind of used it, but um, the main thing about it is that as it's helping out with the neurons in the brain um, and oxygen support in the brain, uh, it also helps out for people who who suffer from strokes. So uh, and and that's the main thing behind that. And that main ingredient is that you know as an anti a protective anti agent, um, want to make something that really, you know, to, to give the, to eliminate the brain fog for, pe for people uh, when, when taking our hidden sensation. So uh, it gives you a very clean uh, amount of focus. Um, some people have mentioned, even with the hidden sensation, it kind of reminds them of Adderall. Okay. Just, just in regards to just the mental clarity that you, that you get off the product itself. Interesting. And there was a couple of, I didn't deep dive well enough into the ingredient, but there was a couple of things that came up that it could assist with weight loss, but there was also some skepticism around that claim, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, it's really key, especially with the vinpositine, I forgot to mention, is that it's really key because of what it does, it, it increases the acetylcholine levels in the brain. So when you stack with alpha GPC, um, it's going to essentially increase that, increase that level of support for you in the, in the brain. And, and John, I don't know, I can't remember because I know we spent a few minutes before I hit record, but you have 275 milligrams of caffeine in the product, which for me, I'm a broken record, but I tend to be a little bit on the lower stim side. So I generally love things between 250 and 300, which is another reason why I, I personally like the product. Mm -hmm. But do you ever get any flack that it's too low dose in caffeine for you or for people? Um, Not, not yet, no. Um, and for those who, you know, we weren't really looking for – to essentially to make a high stemmed, you know, pre-workout. There are some other stimulants in there um, to give you the T-Crin. We have T-Crin at 125 milligrams providing the formula as well. Um, so even though the, the formula itself, the heated sensation 
for some people may not hit them immediately. The good thing is that the longer you work out, the more increased amount of focus and energy actually increases throughout the duration of one's workout. Um, you know, for, for those who um, are high stemmed, you know, uh, caffeine junkies, yep. I would say, yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely give us, uh, give us a chance, give us a shot, try it out. I think they'll realize is that even though other formulas and pre-workouts have high counts of caffeine, at times, you know, you think about your adrenal glands, you, you think about the, the amount of, of caffeine that you're intaking daily. Um, and the great thing with our formula is that you can always, you know, take it anytime throughout the day. Mm-hmm. So for people who are, you know, who work long hours at work, people who are, um, you know, as mentioned, who are like video gamers or video players, people who are college students, um, we essentially were giving something on a wide, versatile perspective uh, to take to essentially taking a, a formula like ours, um, which doesn't necessarily always have to be used as a as a pre workout per se. Do you do you find people or or have anybody has anybody admitted to one and a half or double scooping? Uh, well, I, I'll 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 be for myself when we first had got. Um, our product in um, trial it out for, for for tasting and everything. Um, you do, you definitely do have some people who may essentially feel that hey, I would definitely admit for people who are more of a high stemmed or have a high more of a caffeine high stem tolerance, go with a, a scoop and a half. Um, for people who want a um, a clean amount of energy and you don't want essentially you know, to be all jittery or anything like that, do it one scoop. And that's another thing that's great about our formula is that not having so many stems in there, people don't have to worry about the jitteriness and they don't have to worry about the heart palpitations neither. Yeah. And and for people using this for the first time, what do you recommend timing-wise? How long would you recommend taking this before you go to the gym or activity or anything along those lines? Well, I would definitely recommend uh, roughly 15 to 30 minutes before a workout. Okay. Um, for those who are more of a, of a, I guess per se, more of a high stem tolerant type, um, you would essentially take them a scoop and a half, roughly 30 to 45 minutes before. Um, and like I mentioned, they're, they're, it, with, even with the caffeine and high dose at 275 and 125 milligrams of tea cream provided there as well, um, it, it's, it's not going to hit you immediately. But if you notice when you had taken it, I'm sure you noticed when you had taken it, like, within the first maybe 15 to 30 minute time range within that, within your taking it, within your workout, you probably had noticed an increased amount of gradual increase of energy. Yes. Uh, yep. From, from the, uh, <clears throat> and from the t So, you know, what's the great thing about t is that, you know, you have that peak. Um, it, it gradually starts off slow, increase, 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 and it gives you a very long lasting energy. You know, and, and I'm also impressed that I'm not trying to knock other brands because I have some very good friends in the industry that have this, but I also noticed that there's no theanine in your product, which I, which I respect to a point because as, as people become more of a stim junkie, they want that rush, but then people put in theanine, so it's almost like they want to get high on the caffeine, but then they put theanine in to almost slow it down and bring it down. So it's almost a counterbalance in my mind. So it was interesting to see no theanine in your product, again, which I appreciate that as well. Yeah, and a lot of things with, with L-theanine, um, you, you know, it, it has some other properties to it with, you know, uh, anxiety, improving sleep, relaxation, you know, cognitive performance support. Um, but yeah, I mean, that essentially, you know, we want to essentially do something a little bit different with that. Um, even though with L-theanine has that, uh, inhibitory relaxation support, if you will, um, increasing those levels of, uh, of GABA in, in the brain. So, but no, we definitely, we appreciate it. Uh, our, our main thing with that, we want to make something that gives you, uh, like I mentioned, eliminates brain fog, gives you a steady ongoing focus, but without the crash. And that's another great thing with, with, the formula with the product itself is that you don't get the crash off of it. John, how many how many renditions or reiterations of this formula that you and Malcolm go through before you said that's it, that's the one we're launching? Well, it was actually 
it was actually think about two at the time. Really? Um, okay. I think we talked about two at the time. Um, we uh, fortunately with with our, um, our our blender out there who does her does her blending with our product and everything. There were some few things that I wanted in there uh, that they basically had since they had taken the the last quote off there and they said, "Hey, okay, we're just going to do it this way." So unfortunately, what happened was they had a person who was uh, working and they had taken the batch of the ingredients and mixed them all up and say, "Well, boom, here you go." So we already had so many units pre already made. Um, where that person actually had, had came back, but um, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but that's okay though, because you know we have um, had some other other ideas, especially with improving the formula. Uh, I would definitely say with uh, improving well, for the, the V two version, um, it'll be a little bit, a few more new tropics added will be added to it. Okay. Um, an increased uh, amount of um, citrulline. Um, as well as uh, some beta aline in there. Um, also, for those who for those who want beta aline, so we're looking at probably I'll we'll probably do maybe about adding three three to four more nootropics in it to increase the focus even more. Okay. And uh, beta aline, as I mentioned, and maybe for even a little bit either like um, like a Araya gerinesis or. Um, a, a dynamine in there for for people who may want a, a quicker jolt of, of oh energy. nice energy. yeah I'm, I'm very partial to dynamine I, I like that i like that ingredient a lot but just me personally now with with rocket pop was that what you originally agreed on or was that maybe with all due respect the best flavor to mask some of the more harsher ingredients like the lion's mane and, and stuff yeah actually it wasn't actually it wasn't the ideal actually in flavors i i actually had was a uh, strawberry strawberry peach margarita oh wow yeah yep i had a um strawberry peach margarita i wanted to do i had a uh a salted lime salted lime margarita flavor and we wanted to do the very first flavor that actually wanted to do because we had pomegranate extract in their mm. formula was a like a, a pomegranate acai flavor okay. with what we what we first originally wanted to do and that was like our our main our main one our first formula we wanted to go with um so it ever so happened that something had happened so they 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 couldn't do that so then we had to turn around and then say okay we have to go with this particular flavor and instead um also, I will make note with this, this new formula that we have coming out is that uh, it will be in three delicious flavors. Um, also, to top that off, it will be um, contain, containing uh, natural flavor and natural sweetener. In it as well. Oh, nice. So great, great to... sell because I know people, people are getting more towards going away from the artificial stuff, which is awesome. Yeah, so that's our main, that was our main key, um, especially with the formula even with the uh the hidden sensation you know want to eliminate um keeping it natural but also at the same time want to eliminate for people like you mentioned artificial sweeteners you know sucralose and, and and whatnot and for sweetener we actually there were one of two things that actually we looked into to doing um but you know the price would have been probably probably bonkers and crazy wanted to do a um like a monk fruit using monk fruit as a sweetener Okay. And either a monk fruit or like a, um, with a, like a date, like a date mm. sugar you want to go with. Yeah. Yep. So that was a, our original plan, actually. Um, so with this, this new formula we have coming out, um, that, that's something that we have we tweaked. The formula's already made. Um, it's just, uh, you know, getting the flavors down right where we wanted to get them at. And uh, and go from there. But I really truly believe that this is this is something that is going to be really hitting the supplement industry uh, to a different level. Um, I take a I'm very passionate. I, I take my time on on developing you know, products and formulas you know, for consumers and for people amongst the masses and um, for, for for people who want an intense focus 
um, as well as an increased crazy vasodilation. Um, this is going to be something else. I would truly say that, hands down. John, in a real world, when when would you be hoping to drop the the, the new products? I'm uh, hoping essentially to drop it. Uh, so we're trying to do everything quarterly. Okay. Um, matter of fact, uh, so hopefully about next month sometime to drop this next one, the vasodilation formula. Okay. Um, and then we also have at least we we also have actually a sleep formula as well. I'm sorry, a, what a, formula? A sleep for a nighttime oh, sleep formula. formula. Okay, but this is going to be this is going to be something different as well. Also, so um, this is going to be more so geared um, for women and men. Oh, interesting. So will that be will that be capsule, or are you looking at powdered for that? Uh, we'll probably do that in the powder formula as well. Okay. Um, I, I probably you know if you wanted to, we can we can talk a little bit later on. I'll give you a more a more in depth information of what it's going to contain and. Um, and what it's primarily used for, you know, I want someone to kind of take the ideas, you know, off of it. But it's something that's very, uh, very revolutionary, very different. And that's the main thing that we, we like to do is, um, you know, be, be a company that, that's different. But make things that are, are, are different, that are healthy and high quality for consumers and users as well also. You know what, John, and, and it's very hard in today's marketplace because one of my issues, again, you know, I'm, I'm a very outspoken person, is there's not a ton of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's not a ton of new creativity in the market. You know, like you can look, you can look at five pre-workouts and four of them all have the same five ingredients of the citrulline, the beta alanine, the betaine, maybe some creatine, caffeine, um, and it's a game of almost, okay, how much more of each of, of each ingredient can we put in? So again, it, you know, not, not to stroke your ego, being completely honest, again, seeing the, at least the hideous sensation with a little bit of a difference in, you know, not, not the standard five ingredients that we see in every other pre-workout nowadays. So again, kudos to you for that. Yeah, pre appreciate it. And that was the, uh, that's the main thing essentially behind that was making a, just a energy nootropic, you know, um, a, a main focus enhanced, um, pre-workout uh, that can be used in all sorts of ways. And you're right. Um, you do have a lot of this in, in the industry where it's the same old, same old, or one company would try to, you know, to say, well, let's put an extra 200 milligrams of caffeine, you know, and take it to the limit a little bit. So, um, what we incorporate and what we, what we have is, which I truly believe that no one else has is that we have a pre-workout that you can take that you can stack with our, with our fat burner. Um, a little bit behind with the fat burner, we call it chamber Please. of Hades. Mm -hmm. A little bit behind with the fat burner called chamber of Hades. So chamber of Hades is a, is a thermogenic nootropic fat burner. Um, it's more so designed for focus, more so designed for uh, thermogenesis as well. Um, max dose you can take between four to six caps, four caps in total. We have 100 milligrams of cayenne pepper. We have uh, some lion's mane provided in there as well. Also, 25 milligrams of phenylalanine. We also have um, a little bit of CLA provided in there, green tea extract, green coffee bean extract as well. Um, so when, when, taking, when taking that and stacking it with the hideous sensation, this just really even in, improves the effects based on what the lion's mane, you know, even more with the memory concentration support, uh, nootropic support as well also. So, John, if, if someone, let's say, wants to, wants to take both together, would you suggest a, a full scoop of the hideous sensation and maybe one or two caps max of the Chamber of Hades? Yeah, I would definitely say uh, play or play around with it a little bit. So I would definitely certainly say one scoop of the hideous sensation um, and maybe two caps of the uh, Chamber of Hades. Okay. If a person feels, if a person feels that that's not enough, one scoop with four caps would be sufficient. If a person wanted to take the Chamber of Hades by itself, um, and it, it, it does vary, you know, I, we've noticed it does vary a little bit based on, uh, on body weight. There, sure. are, there have been people who, who take two caps and they get a crazy immense amount of, of focus and they're just sorting, they're sweating their balls out pretty much. Um, there's people who take four caps and they notice the same effects. Um, 
so really to intensify the effect, I would say, if one is a little bit uh, heavier, uh, I would say go, go out four to six caps. As far as taking it, you can do four caps roughly um, before workout, or you can take four caps anytime throughout the day, or one can divide it up as well. So one okay. could do two caps in the morning, maybe two caps in the evening, um, two caps in the evening, and maybe essentially two caps before they go to the gym and work out. Do you th do you think because it seems like as of the last year that pro the people are focusing no pun intended focusing more on focus type products it seems like that was maybe the one of the categories besides the energy drink that seemed to be very popular last year. I think that uh, it really is. It really is. I mean, I mean, there was a time, and we can probably go back and and go from, you know, um, back in the days of what twenty oh nine. 2010, you know, with uh, um, the DMAA rage mm -hmm. that was going on. Um, so, you know, during it with USP Labs was, you know, one of the first companies with you know, bringing that out. Uh, and that went on for, for a while. Um, so even during that time, you know, people were getting crazy balls off the wall energy and focus. And, you know, I think that's really when you first heard the first kind of like term in regards to like tunnel vision per se. When uh, people were, were taking that product, I think more so now these days, it, it's gone from it's gone from DMAA to DMHA. Um, we, we had a few other ones here and there in, in the past as well, also uh, a few other stimulants for for focus support, which some companies can't use anymore due to the mm -hmm. FDA. Um, and now it's it's kind of veering in the direction now where a lot more companies are going with. Mushroom adaptogens, yes. Uh, you know, our uh, nootropic support, uh, cordyceps, Aracetams. Yep, yep. Um, uh, the cordyceps, the lion's mane. Um, I know with ours, we have um, uh, some acetyl L carnitine, L carnitine in, in ours with the lion's mane and the cordyceps providing the formula and the vinpocetine for um, mental clarity support. But I think that's more so. Um, they're more so veering in that direction now. You, you know, you see a lot of companies now have a lot of uh, nootropics, and it's kind of it's kind of here to mess a little bit. It's still fifty fifty. You have some companies that are just making high high counts of, of caffeinated pre workouts, yeah. um, and then you have some companies along the line, even like essentially with us, we like to kind of keep it more so in line and balanced for for people for an array of people who don't necessarily want a high stemmed uh, pre-workout, but something that will guarantee them uh, a long ongoing um, focus support uh, throughout their workouts. Yes, it'll be interesting without without being uh, negative. It'll be interesting in, let's say, 20 to 30 years when you and I are in our, in our twilight, let's say, to see if all the nootropics that people are using now, if Alzheimer's and dementia or any of those type of uh, ailments Hopefully, they're on the decline, but I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's 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 very true. I mean, um, you know, we, we do know without a doubt, especially when you have all these, you know, mushroom adaptogens or the properties and what they're beneficial uh, for. You know, we have what 300 milligrams of cordyceps extract in our heated sensation, um, and that's that's key because it's also key because it also helps out with uh, adiposine trophate or ATP development, yes. increasing energy as well also. So I, I think with, with that, you know, our, our main thing with, with that, with the formula is that making something that gives you um, an ongoing smooth energy, but yet you get some focus at the same time. Um, in regards to uh, the nootropics that you mentioned, absolutely. I mean, we know that lion's mane um, is really essential for um, you know, studies have shown for helping out with dementia. Uh, we know it's beneficial for depression and anxiety. Uh, we also know for the fact that it helps out with memory and concentration support as mm -hmm. well. So inflammation as well. So that was something that we also had, had, taken, a, had taken a toll and looked at as well. Um, these, you know, people, various users, um, the reason why I have beet powder and pomegranate extract 
and they hated sensations for those people, those people who may suffer from high blood pressure, and hypertension. Okay. Um, you know, people who you know, looked at amongst the masses, people who um, have varying elements and issues. Uh, so we wanted to, to put some other ingredients in there to compensate for that, for, for them to kind of enhance, enhance their health as well also at the same time. Um, you know, when you have you know, beet powder for heart support, heart protection, cell protection, uh, the pomegranate extract in there as well also, also being beneficial to help boost uh, men's testosterone levels a little bit as well. Mm-hmm. You look, there's a few other things I looked at when, when, when making these, these products and these formulas. So, John, when it comes to the Chamber of Hades, it sounds like that's not going anywhere, that that's going to stay as is? Uh, I don't know. I might have one or two tricks up my sleeve. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I think at the moment, though, no, honestly, I think at the moment now with the Chamber of Hades, a lot of people, it's actually one of our best sellers. A lot of people like it. Um, a, a lot of people like the fact that it, it's not your average thermogenic. Um, because we know that a lot of thermogenics, even in the past, even currently, Everything is, um, once again, we go back to the, the high amounts of the caffeine. We go yes. back to other ingredients such as, um, you know, Yohimbi. I know people are, might, they may ask, well, hey, how come you guys didn't put like alpha yo in either your pre-workout or your, your thermogenic? Well, the thing is, you know, a lot of people don't want to have, you know, <clears throat> those type of effects where they're, you know, sweating like crazy, um, where they get the chills and they get goosebumps and that type of stuff. Um, really want to make something designed um, for 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 users that uh, essentially can be used in all angles and all ways, mm-hmm. in all shapes and shapes, shapes and forms, pretty much. And, and it's interesting you you bring up alpha yo because I I personally like it and I think it's more beneficial in a thermogenic or a fat burner. But I'm seeing it more now in pre workouts, which is very interesting. But again, that's just my two cents. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if, absolutely. I mean, to each their own. I mean, um, with, with people who may want alpha yo or your Hindi, um, I, I think more so for my, myself, you know, not putting it in there is just for the fact that, you know, people who may suffer from high blood pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, so for men who may suffer from high blood pressure, for, for men or women, I should say, um, who may want to take uh, a thermogenic for themselves, but then they 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 can't do to, you know, some sort of cardiovascular you know, issue. Um, so basically, here we want to take um, a thermogenic and make a thermogenic. You know, we have uh, 100 milligrams of cayenne pepper with 40 milligrams of grains of paradise. Another great uh, element. Not mm-hmm. a lot of people use that as well, the grains of paradise. Yeah, so we have 40 milligrams of grains of paradise, 100 milligrams of cayenne pepper in our, our therm- thermogenic. Um, and based on that, you know, we wanted to give some, some people a nice, a nice sweat while they're working out, but not, not to the, to the point where they're overly drenched out. And then you get, you get focused behind this wall also with the feeling alanine and you get a little bit of enhanced energy with the, uh, green coffee bean extract, the green tea extract. You mm-hmm. get, um, the lion's mane providing there as well also. So Having something like our, our Chamber of Hades, I don't know if you've got one, we have, we have to give one to you, ship one out to you, as a matter of fact. Um, something that uh, can, can be used at all times. So the great thing about that is that people who are cyclists, people who are swimmers, people who um, study in school, they can pop to Chamber of Hades and go to school or whatnot, and they have a test or whatever, and they're they're good to go because they have a little more concentration support due to having the lion's mane in there. John, let's come full circle again. We kind of put a pin in the sleep aid. And again, that's another category. It seems like companies, many companies have always had a sleep aid in their catalog, just almost say they have it. Mm -hmm. But I think over the last year or two, sleep aids have definitely started getting more notoriety. And I'm wondering if it's just because of the fact that we're so over-caffeinated that we're taking the sleep aids now to hopefully bring us back down and get to sleep. Um, uh, I think for, for that, it could be also the fact that, you know, you do have a lot of people who, who work long hours. And you mentioned yes. the caffeine, yes. Um, you know, I myself, you know, my, I essentially do this on the side. My full-time job, I work as an as a engineer, a sales engineer. So I, I know that, 
you know, when you're constantly people are on the go and, and they, they went, they try to wind down and sometimes you, your brain's not able to kind of acclimate and kind of wind down and just rest mm -hmm. to be in a, in a resting state uh, or to even go into an REM state. Um, if, in regards to as far as sleep support, um, I know with, which I'll tell you a little bit later, I know with, with this formula that I have made, you know, when we're looking to developing, um, you, you also had to look at from the point of even like melatonin, for example, you know, our bodies already naturally produce it. Um, and you look at, you know, certain, either certain companies or even certain manufacturers where they increase the melatonin levels for people and people feel that, hey, they have to take a high count of melatonin for them to go to sleep. Well, the thing is not necessarily true. It's not true. You know, if you were to go with, let's say, 300 micrograms of, of melatonin, you're actually able to get a nice amount of smooth amount of sleep at night. And mm -hmm. you wouldn't have to worry about waking up being groggy and tired. Interesting. So what? So when will that be? I don't know if we asked to answer early. So when would you like to drop that? Uh, that one we're, we're looking at hopefully around the summer, the summer of this year. Okay. Um, so that would be that. We're also looking to uh, do the protein, the protein powder as well. Oh, uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. We don't know as far as, you know, so far if it would be like a, a whey isolate or hydrolyzed or, you know, kind of working on some things like that on that. I actually did have a formula or a kind of pre-made um, in regards to that. And one tip I will say um, is it, definitely what we're looking for is going um, a little more, a little organic. I'll just give you okay. that key, a little key word there, organic there. Um, so there's a few things that will be added to, to that, but also something to within the protein um, that will also help out with Vaso, vasodilation or uh, circulation. Okay. So, so John, another question for you to put you on the spot. You also have it looks like a pretty robust apparel line. You know, are you guys an apparel supplement company? Are you one versus the other? I mean, how, how do you position yourself? Or I should say, position the company. Yeah, so we also do have apparel as well, and people can go to uglymusclenutrition.com. We have some some great apparel. We have apparel for women and men. We have, uh, uh, you know, people essentially who are, um, it can be used for people who are bodybuilders, uh, people who just who are avid fitness, gym rats. Uh, and the apparel that we do have is from, we have hats, we have leggings for men and women, women and men. We have hoodies, which I'm wearing one on right now, actually one of our ugly muscle nutrition hoodies right now at the moment. Um, so we really wanted to push some things, you know, to, to represent the brand as well. So going from apparel, we have uh, some shaker cups we have coming out as well. Uh, right. So that would, that would be nice. Matter of fact, we're actually going to have, actually we're going to have those come out with the, our next product together in a combination or a combo as well. So, I know. I know Malcolm always loves, and this is going to sound weird because obviously Malcolm and I are on Instagram together. He always seems to love, unless it's just timing, always loves to be sporting the tights or spandex that are black that have like white stripes in them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He definitely, definitely does. Um, that is for sure. Uh, Malcolm's a, a great guy. Like I mentioned a little bit previously earlier before. We've been, had been friends for uh, about 10 years, actually a decade. Um, but he's on the East Coast, isn't he? Is he in, is he in the Carolinas? He's in, uh, he's actually, actually closer. He's in Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's in Baltimore. And, um, yeah, I mean, throughout the years, we had always stayed in touch. Um, always, you know, we're good friends. We, we, like I said, we had, uh, had, had met. And uh, this is something that we had, you know, we had talked about some years ago. Like I said, four years ago, we talked about, oh, man, okay, let's try to, try to do something with a supplement company. Oh, okay, let's try to do something with a supplement company. So we always kind of like had it, had it in the back of our mind, um, but we're never really able to time to kind of come full circle into actually developing at the time uh, due to work, travel, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so we, you know, we, we finally have it, you know, finally have it, and we, we want consumers and customers to know that, you know, we're, we're all in with you. Um, providing uh, healthy products, providing quality products, 
providing uh, products that you can use through everyday life. But yet at the same time, for those people who, who essentially want to take something, not just uh, a normal pre-workout per se, but hands down, definitely something that will give them probably one of the best focus agent formula pre-workouts they've, they've ever taken. John, for, for people that are looking at opening up their own supplement company, if you don't mind me putting you on the spot, what advice do you have for them, whether good or bad? I would say definitely, um, for one, which because this is all new. This is even new for me, even when in I and with, with, with a sports nutrition company for some two and a half years. Definitely hands down, my, my number one tip I would certainly recommend is do your research. Mm -hmm. definitely, definitely do your research. Um, do your research um, in regards to what you want to make uh, within the product, what ingredients you want to make in the product. Um, and definitely search around with quotes and pricing as well. Um, if you're getting, if you're making a formula, let's say you're, I don't know, it's $25 a unit or whatever, just put this out for example, you might be able to go to another a uh, reparable company and pay uh, twenty dollars a unit instead. So, I would definitely say for people do their research on in, um, and um, and also yeah, just just basically search around, search around. It's not an easy, it's not an easy thing to get into, by far none. And also do your research on the FDA as well, also on certain ingredients. Yes, and right now the market is is, is probably the most competitive that it is right now. So uh, it might be even, let's say it's probably a little bit more difficult where if you go back 15 years, there was three, four, five top-notch companies. And now there still is maybe a dozen great companies. And then there's a small and upcomers like you guys that are nipping everybody's heels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and that's what, and that's the thing we have to, like we, you mentioned a little bit earlier, you have to do something to kind of stand out outside, out the norm. Um, so, you know, the model, the brown paper bag effect, and people are going to like, okay, what, well, the brown paper bag, effect, what is that? What does that include? So you have to kind of, um, stand out the crowd to be different, um, and to make supplements that are different as well. Also, you know, not essentially being the same old, same old, um, cause if you essentially be the same old, same old, then you're just following that other company's path. Yes. So that is why that it was, it's kind of, you know, really imperative you know, myself, Malcolm, you know, our, our team is that, you know, stand out, be different. Um, and especially when you can take, you know, just one of the first two products that we have so far, everything that we're essentially making is essentially something that can be stackable with something else. So. John, is your, is, is both Malcolm and yours, maybe three year goal is to kind of continue to grow and maybe leave your full time jobs and put 100% effort into the company? Or have you thought that far? We have, yeah, we absolutely, we have, absolutely have. Um, uh, yes. Um, yes. I mean, definitely when it, when it comes to, um, you know, pushing a, a company because we're, we're both very, very, very passionate. And like for myself, you know, I've been in this field for, some 10, 12 years, you know, having to work um, in, a, in, a, um, in a health food store for a few years. And then, you know, lots of reading and going to school and earning my, you know, bachelor's in nutritional science. And um, for, for something like that, you, you have to, in any, any field, any job you do, you have to be very passionate. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Um, for myself, um, very, very passionate. Um, if I wasn't passionate, then... Yeah, I wouldn't come up with formulas and developing and, and making them for, for people to take. So, um, so John, are you, one, are you one of those people that when you're in bed at night, do you have a, a pen and pad or something next to, the, next to your nightstand where you wake up in the middle of the night and write stuff down? Or are you actually able to decompress and sleep? No, there's th th okay. So like the thought of always, the thoughts always come up in the back of my mind with, with making uh, a formula and making something different. Matter of fact, for the sleep formula I mentioned to you, I, I have that kind of hidden tuck, hidden tuck somewhere. I um, actually developed that, made that um, around the same time around the Hades sensation and the Chamber of Hades uh, formula. Okay. Um, the protein powder as well also. So I have formulas already developed and made. What I want, what I want 
to, to essentially put in in these products. Um, the version two of the hidden sensations are already made as well. So we're not technically made, but it's already on on sheet and paper and everything. Yeah. Um, the um, for the first generation or first gen of the hidden sensation, it literally had taken me. It didn't take me any time to um, to brainstorm and write down you know, what to put in the product. That was the easy part. The hard part, I actually probably re- revised that maybe about eight to nine times, literally. Because um, wow. I yeah, because I kept saying to myself, okay, well, um, let me let me add more of this. So let me take more of this out. Um, let me um, let me throw in an extra two hundred milligrams of, of this instead. So, um, yeah, but a few times I had revised, you know, quite quite a few times to kind of get it where where I wanted to get it at, um, based on being a uh, an atropic energy uh, formula, and then something also think at the same time for people who don't want the the high stems, you know, uh, pre workouts. Now, I will say for for this next generation. It'll be uh, a little more, a um, lot more, a little more focused than already, um, and a little more energy support as well. Also, so um, and definitely, definitely switching up a few things in regards to the pump aspect. Um, I, I I will say I'll probably you know once we're off I'll, I can go, I'll go into more detail with you on this new product and the uh, the milligram dosage what we already have um, for this new one. So I I think. Um, we certainly say for this version two for the hidden sensation, uh, tweaking it, you know, to the point where just very, uh, just very balanced out. This first form was kind of like, well, okay, energy, focus, support, b- building it up and making it a lot more of a balanced entire uh, uh, formula, uh, okay. but at the same time, uh, providing even increased amounts of focus, even probably even better than, than the formula that we already have. This is gotcha. essentially to make it a whole round. <clears throat> John, we, you know, we, we've covered a lot of the company right now, a lot of the products, and I really appreciate the time. Is there anything else that you know, maybe we haven't covered that you want to let people know about? Yeah, I would definitely uh, tell people, uh, follow us. You can follow myself or Malcolm. You can follow me on Instagram at JohnAppleWhite1. Um, you can follow Malcolm at MalcolmBlackman84. And you can also follow us on Instagram at ugly underscore muscle underscore nutrition. And uh, we continuously hope to develop more innovative uh, products for for consumers and customers and uh, to enhance their workouts even better and to uh, make some high quality products that uh, that are a little bit different. But yet at the same time, people know what they're actually getting out of it. Awesome. Well, John, I really do appreciate your time this afternoon. It's been a great conversation. I mean, I love the education. I know my listeners love the education. Um, You know, uh, for people that have not heard me before, I built this platform to give a voice to the young or small up and coming companies like yourself. Definitely, definitely give them a look. Again, they're transparent, transparent labels, meaning everything you see, you know exactly what you are getting milligram by milligram. And also the fact that, you know, give the small guys a shot because some of the smaller guys out there are the ones that are actually making better products than the bigger people out there. Anyway, folks, my Instagram is subtalk underscore radio. Also, we're on YouTube, Instagram, Stitcher, and Spotify. John, thank you again so much, and uh, we look forward to your trajectory. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's a pleasure talking to you, Sean. I'm glad we actually had the opportunity to, to, to finally uh, catch, uh, catch each other now for once. And uh, absolute pleasure talking to you as well. And uh, for, for your listeners out there, uh, once again, follow us on IG at ugly underscore muscle underscore nutrition. And uh, feel free to reach out to myself uh, through our ugly muscle nutrition page on Instagram. If you guys have any questions, um, you can personally inbox me or DM me on Instagram at John Applewhite one um, as well. Perfect. John, thank you again and continued success. Have a great rest of the week, my friend. Thank you. You did the same. My pleasure.